I will talk to you about the concept of entropy. So what is entropy? Well, the most basic definition of entropy is that entropy is the measure of a disorder of a system. But that's not a very good definition, because it's kind of vague, and you can't quantify with that definition. You can't use numbers. So let's explore the concept of entropy using probability. And maybe we can come up with a better definition using probability. Okay? So let's look at this system here. This system is composed of two containers connected by a bridge. And within the container, there are four different molecules. And these molecules are allowed to diffuse from one side to the other side. So let's see what's the most probable situation that we can get. Okay? So what's the likelihood that we're going to get four different molecules all on the left side? Okay? Well, this thing could only occur one time. Or there's one way that this can occur. So let's look at this side, okay? What's the likelihood that you get two different molecules on the left side of the container, or on the left container? Okay? Well, there are six different ways that this can occur. And this means this type of situation is six times as probable. That basically means that if you take a snapshot at any given time of this system, that this snapshot or this picture is more or six times more likely to occur. So now we can come up with a better definition of entropy using probability. Entropy is the tendency of a system to take its most probable form. So in the situation or in the system we had here, What's the most probable form? Well, it's clear that this one, it must be this one. Okay? Now, you could imagine, this is only with four molecules. You could imagine how unlikely this becomes when we get millions and billions of different molecules. Okay? This becomes much more likely with greater amount of molecules. Now let's explore the relationship between the second law of thermodynamics and entropy. In another video, we saw that the second law of thermodynamics basically states that heat cannot be completely converted into work. Here we will see a slightly different definition of the second law of thermodynamics. So let's explore these two isolated systems that are, that are the same size, that have the same number of molecules, and the same type of molecules. Which one do you think is more probable to occur? Well, let's find out. Let's use entropy to find out. Okay? Well, in this system, the molecules seem to be scattered as far away from each other as possible. In this system, they're very structured. They're in one ball. Okay? So let's see which ones uh, are more probable. So in this system, you have a bunch of nuclei, positively charged nuclei, close to each other. Now, positive charges repel. And so these guys are going to want to naturally move away from each other, as far away from each other as possible. They, in fact, would want to form this structure here. Okay? So this more structured system will want to turn into this less structured system. Okay? So let's go back to our definition of, or definitions of entropy. One definition states that entropy is the measure of disorder of a system. So since this is more structured, there's more order, so it's less disordered, okay? This means there is a lower entropy, or low entropy, because it's more structured, more order, okay? Now, here it's the opposite. Since here there is less structure and less order, it's more disordered, so there's a higher entropy. Now, let's go to our second definition of entropy, which basically states that entropy is the tendency of a system to take its most probable form. So, once again, which one is more probable? Well, this one is more probable. Therefore, there's a higher entropy, and this guy is less probable. So, there's a lower entropy, okay? So, we can refine the second law of thermodynamics into the following. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of an isolated system will never decrease. It will either stay the same or it will increase. In other words, it will never go from this to this.